Hey guys, it's Mikey Chan. When we think of Romania, the first thing that comes to mind, or at least for me, is vampires, specifically Dracula. But there's more to Romania than these blood-sucking beings. In fact, Romania is home to one of the strangest rock formations ever, the Trovins. There exists a museum called the Trovins Museum Natural Reserve in the south of Romania, outside the village of Kosteski. In this museum, you can find the Trovins were strange living stones that can grow and even move. The museum has been commissioned to protect take these strange living stones since 2004 and currently hold some of the biggest trovins in the world. Trovins is a synonym for the German term Sandstein Konkretionen, which means concrete sand. And the name was introduced by the Romanian naturalist M. Mergosi in his work at the Tertiary in Austenia. Trovins are supposedly sandstone concretions that grow or move and even multiply as if they are alive. They usually have smooth and edgeless shapes and are cylindrical, nodular, and spherical. Trovins develop these inconsistent shapes as they grow and multiply due to irregular cement secretion. The weight of trovins ranges from a few grams to several tons, and they can grow from a few millimeters to as large as 10 meters. The weird thing is that some of the tallest trovins were actually quite small some years ago. Apparently, the smaller they are, the faster they grow, kind of like kids. Another strange thing about these rocks is that they also have ellipsoidal and spherical rings when cut just like tree trunks. Not only that, they can also move like the sliding rocks in Death Valley. For example, researchers photographed a trovin for around 14 days to see its average amount of steps within those days. And at the end of the experiment, they found that the stone moved by 2.5 millimeters. Although that's a very small amount of movement, it does prove that the stones are capable of walking on their own. Academics, however, are skeptical about the trovins walking, but they don't deny the possibility of such movement. They think that one explanation to trovins walking is the cooling or heating of the soil that may cause the stones to move. In other words, they think outside factors are affecting the stone and the stone itself is not actually moving. In regards to their origins, there are many theories as to how these rocks were formed. Some say that wind erosion and variations of temperature created them, and others say that it was due to water infiltration and sand deposits. Some even say that trovins were created when seismic shocks occurred 6 million years ago and resulted in sand particles grouping into aggregates. Then there are skeptics who believe that trovins are actually just pseudo-concretions that are improperly considered sandstone concretions. According to tests conducted by the International Geological Congress in Oslo in 2008, there was no mineralogical difference between trovins and surrounding sands with no distinct nucleus, and their cement is often carbonate type. Because of the varied opinions about how these trovins originated, no one can really say for sure how they came to be. No one really knows why these rocks are able to grow, but geologists believe that a possible explanation for the rock's movement is due to their mineralization property. Heavy rain will activate a chemical reaction inside these stones that results in increased pressure, and the pressure spontaneously makes the rock grow from the center to its margins and multiply, with a deposition rate of about 4 to 5 centimeters in a thousand years. Keep in mind, however, this is just a theory. What scientists really can't comprehend, however, is why these stones are also able to breed. And what I mean by breed is, when a trovent is exposed to water, a side of it will swell up and start growing a bump. When the bump reaches a certain size, it will break off, and the new baby trovent will appear, having a very similar structure to its parent trovent. But it will have its own nucleus in a way, almost like a flower bud. Since this process is so similar to budding, it's almost as if it's an inorganic form of life, which is something unexplainable even to this day. Although trovents are more often seen in Romania, they've also been found in a few other places scattered across the world. Trovents of different ages have been recorded in Russia, the Siberian platform, Wyoming, and the Carpathian Mountains in Central Europe. Local residents are also aware of how rare and special these stones are. As a result, many trovins were used as building materials and tombstones for loved ones. Those practices have since ended because trovins are so rare, and the Trovins Museum in Romania is now under the care of UNESCO. Anyway, I do have a feeling that these growing, moving, breeding stones will continue to stay a mystery for a long time. I mean, who knows? They might have been here since the planet formed. They might be representations of extraterrestrial life forms carried to Earth by meteorites or aliens, but we'll never know for sure until they hatch and take over the planet. Okay, I really hope that won't happen, but who knows? But deep down, I feel like they're they're eggs of some sort, and, and maybe when they hatch, they'll be these guys. As always, let me throw the question to you guys. What do you think these living stones really are? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.